What's good, YouTube fam? BNT back at it. Quarantine day number. What number we're I don't now? even know. I'm not counting anymore. I know in the last video, we was like, we're on quarantine day. It was like almost 20 something. And we say last video very loosely because we've been recording, but we have not been posting. So we're going to bombard y'all all at once. Yeah. Hit you with like some episodes or some series. Quarantine series. I mean, yeah. this is going to be like some quarantine series. We're on our nightly walk. We might go every other night, but it's kind of cold tonight. We try to get out at least for a little bit because we're stuck in the house all day. Yeah, and then for the most part, since we work, working from home, um, since we're, you know, blessed to still actually be able to work, because I know a lot of people are dealing with the financial, you know, crisis and the work crisis, furlough and all that stuff. So definitely, um, thinking about those people right now but being that we are blessed to work we're trying to find out different ways to you know stay active and actually um you know not get stuck in the house so the walk has been di diligent um to keeping us sane and and keeping us you know i guess mentally stable yep but we were just talking before we started and we were like what do we want to talk about so we went to our questions that you guys responded to on Bravon, I think a while ago, and Bravon610 IG, for those of you who don't know. Um, but one of them was, how do you save for vacation? And if you know us, you know that we like to go on vacation quite frequently. We haven't, obviously, any time recently because of everything that's going on, but, um, Dang, I'm out of breath. <laughs> I'm not even running. What is wrong with me? Um, that quarantine. Starting some, to get to us. We've, we've always been conscientious with our money um, and tried to create multiple streams of, streams of income, blah, 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 blah. Um, but something that we've been doing even more now than ever is budgeting and when I say budgeting, I really mean tracking where your money goes um, because you can have a budget, which we do, which is like X amount that we're supposed to spend, including bills, you know, entertainment, whatever category, you know, we spend our money in. And then we also have a monthly expense report. So that expense report, I have some formulas in there to make sure that we're subtracting the amount that we're spending on each category and then I have like the net of how much we've overspent according to our budget, um, how much we saved, yada yada yada. So then I think it was after the second month that we were doing that that we were like alright we spend entirely too much money in this area or in this area and then you can adjust so I think we're in that adjustment period now. We've analyzed for quite some time now we're adjusting our budget um, we build our savings into our budget so it's an expense that money is not something that we can actually use so we each save X amount from each paycheck and that is built into our expenses once you save it you don't touch it um, so that's something that definitely helps us because then it's like okay even if we aren't thinking about going on a vacation, you know, whatever, we don't have anything set on our mind, we're constantly saving. So like at all times we have that to use, you know, one, first and foremost for emergencies. I think this time more than ever has taught us that emergency funds are crucial. Um, so that's number one, but then also, you know, some fun spending money as well. So, I don't know. I just talked for a while. Anything else? Yeah. Um, I mean, I'm, I sort of echo what you say um, re in regard to the budget. Because um, I'm more so, as, I'm a saver, but I wasn't really, like, tracking um, my spending too much. So, it, was, it would be, you know, I would spend or I would, you know, know that I have this amount on my card um, to use, like a cash app card. So, I would set a limit on that or put some money on the side on that. And just swipe that cash app card to sort of get myself in a habit 
to, um, you know, discipline myself when I'm spending on things outside of bills. So that's something that we um, we started to do, um, both both tracking our spending, like she said, uh, making sure that we was, you know, holding each other accountable to, you know, actually write down that purchase when we was making that purchase, because um, sometimes it can get, you, you know, you don't realize how much you're actually spending. Right. And, and in a time like this, when you're like, all right, there's not really much to spend on, but you're at the grocery store or... Except for all y'all who are just sitting at home online shopping all day. Exactly. That's what I'm about to say. That's, that's case you those people that, you know, want to online shop, which um, I'm a fan of as well, but not really shopping for clothes. Um, but, you know, using use Amazon, that type of thing. But you just got to set a budget and actually stick to that budget. Yeah, and I was going to say, like, just to... The two, I think the two main takeaways here are consistency and discipline. So being consistent with tracking your expenses, consistent with your budget, um, consistent with your attention to your finances, I'm falling. Um, and then also discipline to be able to actually abide by the guidelines that you set for yourself. And when you're over your budget for entertainment or fun, saying no to that person that asks you if you want to go out because at now you're cutting into my plan right so consistency and discipline and um you, I, I promise you you will see a difference for sure yep so i know the next thing that we can sort of echo that with is is all right so you got a budget or you want to you know buy a car or you in this time now where you didn't think that having a budget was needed so one thing that we wanted to make sure that we stressed was having that um that income saved up uh um having that six months you know i would stress six to 12 months i mean maybe of income saved up because you never know what's going to happen so once you have that then you can maybe start looking at other ways of getting yeah. passive income but that's the first thing you want to put that put that money aside for that um that and uh, you might even want to time. think about it as like having six to 12 months of expenses saved and not even just income because some and you know depending on what your income is sometimes your bills and things may be more than that so you may have to oversave um so just making sure that you can provide the things that you need the necessities for an extended period of time should you not have income uh, coming in, so. Yeah, and then I think the, um, I think the last thing we could say, because I just want to give you guys some takeaways, some actually, some action, um, some action items that, that you can actually take away and implement in your own life. So if you get your, your expenses saved up, six to 12 months of expenses saved up, um, how do you create that budget? So I think what we can do is, you know, because it's a bunch of free budgets online as well. Um, but yeah, like example budget. I know Minted, a lot of people, okay, so here's my take on Minted. I like it because it's automatically tracking your expenses when it's attached to your card, but I don't like that you don't have to actually physically enter that number into an Excel sheet because to me, that's the biggest, um, thing that keeps me focused is like actually having to write out that number like dang I really spent $250 on this thing um, rather than just seeing it on your expense report at the end of the month like oh I spent that um, so you can actually see on a day-to-day -day basis um, you know what's coming out of your pot of money and I wouldn't say that we're as good as doing it on a day-to-day -day basis but every expense we do we track and then maybe at the end of the week or I pick a day, two days out of the week to go in and actually like put the numbers in and see where we are for the month. Um, so that's my recommendation and I'm happy to share my template uh, with anybody who's interested. Um, I created it. It's still in progress. Like as I go, I find new ways to help me easier and easier access or yeah, I don't know how to say that. yeah to improve, improve it, it. yeah um, just to make and it to make it work better for me um, so I definitely think it's a dynamic document that you can always be making changes to but I'm happy to share how we track our stuff for sure yeah definitely so hit us up in the comments if you would like to see that um, 
and maybe we can you know show you a video of how to actually implement those first couple of items into that budget mm -hmm. all right so you spent this is your first month you know doing the budget how do you f track it and um how do you actually stay disciplined like she said of actually putting those items down so that actually keeps us um honest you know with what we're spending and how we need to uh better motivate yeah or curve that spending into and other areas another reason why i like the manual budget is because it's like sparked in me something that i'm like all right i have all this stuff lined up for what i take out how can i find a way to add something that's going to help me put more money in which is passive income so mm -hmm. i don't know you really you really just start to see the impact um and it, it for me it sparked ideas so yeah yeah so that's a little just a little bit about how you know we're currently um maneuvering through this um uh, as far as life you know being young uh professionals millennials you know people that have entrepreneurial uh ideas and stuff like Mindset, that yeah. yeah so we want to make sure that we can ultimately you know budget um our way through uh, these times when it's uh, necessary um and then ultimately get the get the goal so yeah hope you guys enjoyed that um give us some more ideas for what you want to see uh as far as videos i know we have a lot more um questions that you guys have asked uh, maybe we can get some some more recording in because we really ain't doing nothing else outside of <laughs> uh, work it feels like i go to work which is i go to my desk or i go to wherever i'm going to be working at for the day i finish up i get to watch a show or two i cook dinner or we cook dinner together and then it's like all right wow it's time to go back and do it all over again so that's kind of like the loop that i felt like feel like i've been in for a while now <laughs> yeah it's, it sort of gets you in that like that mindset of like sorry all the um all the videos you watch when you was a uh, um which way you want to go i don't even know y'all we don't even know where we are we're just walking and talking no it's the we, we can go this way <laughs> we can go this way it, it just loops back around. yeah i think i know where i am now but it just gives you that mindset where you can um like i say get that discipline and get um a better a better lifestyle for yourself um so anything else mm, no i i could talk finances all day because i just i don't know i think it's so important but i think this is a good starting point so yeah i think it was good it was it's, it's much needed um it's much needed so Hope you guys are like i said staying safe um taking your taking <laughs> your vitamins doing your exercise um socially distancing properly all those good things um and you know send us <coughs> excuse me send us some um send us some ideas for the next video um hopefully we get more 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 of them out in the next couple of days we could probably post this one tonight yeah, this is this. I don't think we need to really edit anything, honestly. Yeah, so it's really about maintaining a healthy mental health. Keep your mental health um, during this time. Oh, yes. Like, we were saying some different, um, you know, different encouraging words that was left along the sidewalk oh, yeah. when we was walking. Um, not today, but in the other days. There were some kids in the neighborhood. It said, um, we'll get through this with a rainbow. I posted it on my Instagram page, so some people may have seen it, but I don't know. If you know me, you know I'm all about positivity, and I just really think that even if you aren't feeling positive, forcing yourself to feel, I mean, forcing yourself to, I don't know how to say this, continuing to feed your mind with positive thoughts mm -hmm. can really change your actual feeling like obviously it's okay to feel down at times and let yourself feel down but not for too long yeah so like she said continue to stay stay well stay healthy checking on check in on those loved ones um and uh, until next time make Bye. sure make sure you subscribe follow us on brave on 610 on instagram and uh yeah peace Bye,